So I am here with none other than Tanner Serpa, which you saw on our channel last year, actually exactly a year ago. And uh, what are we doing today, Tanner? Today we're putting a fish tank in Weston's wall here. It's gonna be 150 gallon black water angel fish tank. Awesome, you guys are sitting right now where the tank is going to be going. So it's gonna become very wet and bubbly and watery right there where you are right now, just very shortly. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I've been uh, kind of cheating. I went kind of on a bi-weekly schedule instead of a weekly schedule lately. Um, it's been a really busy winter uh, with working with Synced Up and I've been doing some training stuff around job costing and all that good stuff. And I traveled to Romania to visit my wife's family over the holidays. And so anyway, um, been bouncing in around the office and then tomorrow, Heading out to Chicago for the Aquascape uh, Sandbox Studio that all the artists of the year are, are uh, taking a crack at. So, and for today, the video I want to bring for you is um, about this aquarium. So, if you remember last summer, uh, I put this aquarium in uh, with Tanner Serpa. Tanner Serpa came out and helped me put it in. He did all the scaping. And the inspiration behind this kind of, so two years ago I went down to the Amazon jungle with Greg Woodstock and Ed and a couple other guys and um, down there we were looking for new species of fish with Heiko Blair and we had a blast. It was really cool. It was like the Rio Negro in Colombia and it's black acidic water and I, I came back and I was like, man, I need an aquarium in this office. And I kind of told Tanner like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this and I'd like to kind of model it after. Uh, the natural habitat of what we saw down there in Columbia with the black acidic water and some uh, angelfish, some cardinal tetras, and a few things like that. So um, this video is going to be about the installation, what we did, and uh, at the end of the video I'm going to show you kind of like the final outcome with the fish and the beauty shots. So uh, enjoy the video, let me know if you have any questions, and uh, see you at the end. This aquarium is actually going in the wall, and right now uh, we're getting ready to drill this aquarium for the uh, filtration equipment and Tanner and I were debating for some time should we drill it should we not drill it should we just go with the pipes over the top like this little thing and uh, I just love when things look nice and clean and neat so the risk is on me this <laughs> tank we're gonna drill it hopefully it stays in one piece and doesn't shatter into a million pieces <laughs> all right things are getting serious Tanner's putting on gloves and glasses just in case <laughs> I don't have shoes though, so what does that tell you about my, my practice? Setting up for the shot. Right down there is where we're going to be drilling the holes. Well, it didn't break yet. It would have already. Yeah. So, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Just dive in. What do you know? It wasn't tempered. We're good to go. We got the first side done and we got one more side to go. All right, the tank is drilled. Time is getting ready to put some uh, tint on it so we don't see this part right here. Once that tank's in, we, want, we don't want to see that raw studding and wood. Big moment! Yes. Man, that's gonna be awesome. That is gonna be so cool. Okay, so we got the tank in. Tanner said he's gonna be working on scaping the tank next with driftwood, rocks. I don't know, this is all new for me. I'm just watching and learning.
So what stage of the process are you in now? So right now I'm just laying the foundation for everything. And then after I, so I'm gonna cap all of that off with the sand. Then I can start scaping. So, I mean, we're probably about halfway there. Cool. This is awesome. I cannot wait. It's been mess and dirt up all the way up until now. Now we get some good stuff. This is the fun part. For some. <laughs> For some. So now I'm just trying to get my key elements in place. Biggest items. And then I'll build the rest of the escape off of that so I get a good direction from the stones and the driftwood and everything. And then uh, kind of carry that through the whole design. In a way, this is kind of like uh, the way we build ponds, you know? We're just trying things, doing things, and uh, a lot of tinkering. Yeah, you're tinkering, and Tanner's uh, doing it with uh, this aquarium. All right, Tanner is working right now on just placing the uh, the driftwood and the rocks. He's working his magic there. I'm going to start working on putting this trim around the whole thing, so it uh, looks good from the office side at least. But we deal with the other side later. Man, doesn't that look so much better with that trim around it? Just instantly just dresses it up. Yeah, yeah, really. It's the picture frame. Yep. <laughs> it's a live picture frame. And it's not digital. What is Serpa making now? A in wall aquarium. Um, what are you going to put in the aquarium? Uh, angelfish. I'm going to do fish like what we saw down in the Amazon. That's so fun. So he bought everything, had everything ready, and then Tanner just drove out for the night. And he came out early this morning and looks like we'll get done today yet. Okay, so we are unpackaging uh, the last filter. There's two of these. Ciche Whale 500. That must mean it's a good one. That was a lot of words. Yeah. <laughs> Brand and then uh, the <laughs> So we're working on this uh, plumbing up, plumbing, plumbing this stuff up right now. That's going to be the uh, the jets to provide the circulation to the tank. Over here is the bulkheads for the um, drain. drain. Yep, and we're getting ready to plumb it in to down there. It's going to be sucking in right there. Goes down underneath, and the filters get housed underneath the tank in that structure. And then once we're all done, I'm going to be covering this up with some kind of like probably some rusty tin paneling like I have over my office. So this is a four stage filter. On the bottom we have the mechanical filtration, it's a coarse filter sponge. Then it's followed up by more mechanical which is a finer filter sponge. And then we have the chemical filtration which in this case is carbon. Uh, we've got the first stage of biological, then another stage of mechanical which is the same fine filter floss. And then on top we have the last stage of biological which is just some ceramic rings. Top goes on like so. It's pretty easy. Nice. And Tanner was nice enough to hook us up with those filters. Thanks, Tanner. You're welcome. So what's going through your mind when you're deciding what plant to place and... So just like the way that I did the hardscape um, and how I'll set up really any type of setup is I always go from the largest elements down to the smallest elements. It just helps me find better ways to place items. And as I was scaping this, I already had the plant placement in mind. So these are the largest plants right now. I'm putting them near the largest areas of the hardscape because they're gonna kind of go with it so in a way the, the the small plants blend with the small areas of the scape and it, it's all to give you a, a sense of scale like when, when you're looking at the tank you don't want it to to look as though it's man-made if that makes sense mm -hmm. just the rules of composition you give that try to get that depth yeah exactly so i'm placing these all in three areas of interest throughout the scape not necessarily following the roll of thirds since I did that with the scape itself. Right. 
but I'm just uh, just kind of putting them in areas where I feel like they'll accentuate the skate. Let's go get the hose and start filling it up. The big moment has arrived. You pretty excited for this, Chase? He's been waiting all day. <laughs> okay, so it's a bit later than we thought it would be at this stage, but the good news is it's all problems are resolved, right? For the most part. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope the floor doesn't fall down yet. Yeah. <laughs> but we're putting the leads in the aquarium now. I'm going to get some shots of that. This is so cool. This is a rewarding moment. Wow, look at this that. This just looks so awesome. Tanner's making the final touches. That is so cool. Cute little critters. Okay, Chase, you wanna hand me the bags? Yeah. Float them a little while. They all look yes. good. They're active. Uh -huh. Okay, give me another one. Yeah. Okay, give me the last one. 